Scene 7 takes place in Macbeth's castle. There are boys playing large wooden instruments and bearing torches. A lead servant comes in with lots of other servants carrying dishes, food and utensils. So there's a feast being prepared. And in comes Macbeth. And Macbeth says, if it's going to be done and finished, if everything could be finished and done with after murder and there were no consequences and that was the end of it, then murder would be the be-all and end-all of the whole thing and I'd gladly do the deed and put my soul at risk for the rewards I'd get here. But if we commit murder, we still have to face judgment here. By doing it, we teach other people to do it. And eventually, these teachings, so he's talking about this idea of, you know, if I murder someone, it's all right for everyone to, will return to haunt the teacher. Justice is even-handed so that what we do to others must be done to ourselves. Duncan trusts me in two ways. Firstly, I'm his friend and his subject, so my first duty is to always protect him. Secondly, I'm his host, so I should be protecting him against anyone who would want to murder him, not trying to murder him myself. Besides this, Duncan has been such a good and innocent leader that all these good things will be what people remember of him when he's dead, and they will play like angels playing trumpets against the terrible sin of his murder. And pity, like a naked newborn child, will take flight on the wind and tell everyone of the terrible deed that has taken place, and they will all know, and they will all shed so many tears, that it will be like a flood trying to drown the wind. There is nothing that can encourage me to do this except my ambition, which goes ahead of myself and brings me closer to disaster. So what's happened there, as I'll analyse in more detail in the next video, is Macbeth has essentially given a very logical um, list of reasons why he shouldn't murder Duncan. And then look what happens next. Enter Lady Macbeth. How are things? What's the news? Lady Macbeth says, he has almost finished eating. Why have you left the room? Macbeth asks, did he ask for me? And Lady Macbeth says, don't you know he has? Macbeth says, we can't go any further with this plan. He's given me lots of honours lately, and I've gained the respect and good opinions of lots of people. I should be enjoying all this new attention and respect, not throwing it away. Lady Macbeth then attacks him by saying, were you drunk when we were speaking about this before? Have you fallen asleep and woken up all green and pale and afraid of what we planned before? From here on out, this is what I will think of your love. Are you so afraid to get what you want? Will you try to become king, the thing you want so badly, or will you live as a coward, always saying, I dare not, after you say, I want something, like the cat in that old story? And Macbeth begs her, please stop, I'm willing to do everything I can to become a man. Whoever is willing to do more is not a man. Lady Macbeth says, what beast was it then that first thought of doing this? When you plan to do this, that's when you were a real man. And if you do it, then you'll be even more of a man. When you thought of it before, the time and place weren't right, but now both are right. But the perfectness of it all is stopping you from doing it. I have breastfed a child, and I know how tender it is to love that child that drinks my milk. But I would, while the child was smiling in my face have taken my nipple from its toothless mouth and smashed its brains out on the floor if I had sworn to do it, just like you have sworn to do this. So she's really goading him, trying to kind of manipulate him into doing it. Macbeth asks, what if we fail? And Lady Macbeth replies, we fail. But tighten up your courage and we won't fail. When Duncan is asleep, all his travelling has made him tired. I will get his two servants so drunk their memories will disappear as if they were gases escaping from their brains then when they're sleeping like pigs it will be as if they are dead to the world then you and i can do whatever we like to the sleeping duncan and blame it on his servants who will bear the guilt of our great murder macbeth says i hope that you only ever have sons because your spirit and personality should create nothing but males will people really think when we have smeared duncan's servants with his blood and used their very own daggers that they really did it Lady Macbeth replies, Who would think otherwise? We will make our grief at his death known once we've heard the news. Macbeth says, I have decided to do it. I will do everything I can to commit this terrible crime. Go now and pretend to be an honourable hostess and hide with a friendly face the evil plan in your heart. So Act uh, 1 ends with Macbeth convinced and um, some could say manipulated or bullied into agreeing to murder the king. 
And um, yeah, let's see what happens in the next video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful.